Hi my dear students, in this video we are going to discuss the problem on mechanical power, rotor copper losses and resistance per phase etc. So let us see the problem, a 3 phase 50 head 500 volts induction motor develops 20 HP, this is developing 20 HP, at a slip of 5%, they given slip also 5%, the mechanical losses are 1 HP, just 1 HP of mechanical losses, the stator losses are 1000 watts, oh they given in watts, up to now they given in HP, but now they given in watts. Then calculate its efficiency. Now calculate the efficiency. One see here. For example, see here. For example, this is my stator. And this is my rotor. This is my rotor. Generally, we are giving input to the stator. So, this is the input, power input. Of course, here stator losses are there, stator losses are there. Of course, this is the rotor input, rotor input. Of course, here some rotor copper losses are there. Here, rotor copper losses are there. Then after, this is the rotor output. This rotor output is ultimately known as mechanical power developed, power developed by my machine. This is the power developed by my machine. Of course, then what is here? Here, the mechanical losses, mechanical losses they given, they given 1 HP. Of course, now this is the power output. This is the power output they given right sir so this is the generally they given data what they given they given this is a solution what they given a three phase machine and f is equals to frequency of 50 hedges of course they given a voltage of 500 volts no use of this of course they given the power developed by my machine is the power developed by my machine is 20 HP and mechanical losses also they given mechanical losses 1 HP I already 1 HP of mechanical power loss next stator losses stator losses of 1000 watts so, the stator losses of 1000 watts. Then, what are the losses of mechanical? Mechanical losses, how many? The mechanical losses are 1 HP. 1 HP, nothing but 735.5 watts. 735.5 watts. And the given induction motor develops 20 HP, nothing but actually this is the output what is the motor developed nothing but the motor output they given the motor output how much 20 so tell me motor output is equals to 20 hp 1 hp nothing but 735.5 watts so tell me sir how much uh, how many watts the induction motor power output yeah simply 14,710 watts, 14,710 watts is the, the power output of my machine, the power output of my machine is 14,710 watts. Can you tell me what is my rotor output? What is my rotor output? Nothing but mechanical power developed by the machine nothing but rotor output, rotor output is equals to that 14710 plus that 14710 plus this 700 of loss plus these two plus then gives us the mechanical 
So 735.5, finally how much it is? 700 nothing but uh, 15,000, 445.5, 15,445.5 is this mechanical power developed by machine. This is the mechanical power developed by my machine. Now, this is the mechanical power developed. Nothing but PM. PM formula 1 minus S into P2. Do you have an idea? Rotor input is known as P2. Rotor copper losses is known as S into P2. Rotor output PM is known as 1 minus S into P2. From this, the mechanical power developed is equal to 1 minus S times of P2. I want P2. From this, P2 is equal to the mechanical power developed by machine upon 1 minus S. This is the formula very important. Actually, we have to calculate this, right? So, tell me, sir, mechanically power developed is 15,445.5 upon 1 minus S. S they given. S they given. S is equals to 5%. 5% nothing but 0 0.05. If you calculate this value, if you done this value, 1 uh, something by 0 0.95. So, if you calculate this value, this is 16,258.441 watts. This is the rotor input. The rotor input value 16,258.441 watts is my rotor input. Sir, I got a rotor input. Of course, I know the state are losses. Can you tell me what is my power input? Can you tell me what is my power input? Tell me the power input to the machine is equals to that 16258.441 plus plus this losses of 1000 then it will give us exactly 17258.441 watts this is the power input and this is the power output we have a power input and power output then you can calculate the efficiency efficiency is equals to power output upon power input the power output is 14710 upon power input nothing but 17258.441 if you calculate this if you calculate this you will get uh, 14 out of 17, 15 out of 17. If you calculate, exact answer is 85.23 percentage. 85.23 percentage is our answer. Yeah, actually it's a big problem, but uh, your problems must like this only. They will ask you like a, a good problem. So actually, this is a well excellent problem. A very simple, sir. Actually, the procedure is simple. You have to make a calculate. Just by using calculator, you can make the answers very simple, right? Yeah. So, yes, sir. Well, input, stator losses, rotor input, rotor copper losses, rotor output, mechanical losses, power output. If you know this power stages diagram, you can find easily. Yes, sir, no, guys. So, this is the efficiency and mechanical power and rotor, copper losses, everything included here. Right, sir.